Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shrine. So this is actually a Disney Days playlist where I do like makeup tutorials, I do DIY ears, I tell you how to turn old jumpers into cushions. So today's look is actually a Maleficent inspired look. Now I didn't want to obviously do Maleficent as in like the green skin and things like that. I just wanted to do like almost like a Disney bounding kind of look. So it's almost like getting the colours like the purples and the greens and then trying to turn it into almost like everyday makeup but you could obviously do it as Halloween makeup if you wanted to as well. So yeah, so if you want to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. So we're doing a Maleficent inspired makeup look. So I was actually looking on Pinterest and I found this picture. So this picture is obviously what inspired me to do this look. So I didn't want to do an actual Maleficent look. I wanted to do an inspired look. So almost like a Disney bounding sort of thing where I use the same colours, but then obviously do it as like a normal face, if that makes sense. Um, the only thing I won't be doing, if you know me, I love my glitters. I'm not going to be using any glitters today, but I do have a shimmer that I want to use. Um, um, but yeah, so let's just get started. So the first thing you need to know about my skin is I've got oily skin. I have already washed my skin, but I've not actually put anything else on. So I personally just use the Nip and Fab one. So this is the Teen Skin Fix. So this is good for um, like acne prone kind of skin because obviously when you've got oily skin, you tend to get spots. So I tend to use this one. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a primer. Now my favourite ones are actually the Revolution ones, just on the basis that they actually are for certain skin types, because I find most primers are just like a generic one, whereas the Revolution ones, you've got one for oily skin, you've got one for dry skin, you've got the colour corrector ones. So I just find personally having the mattifying one is actually better for my skin. So not only does it help keep the makeup on for longer, but it also helps control the shine throughout the day. So because I'm going to be using a lot of colour, um, I'm actually going to do my eyes first. Normally in my everyday makeup, I do my foundation first and do my eyes. But because like I said, we're working with a lot of colours, just in case there's any fallout, at least then I can wipe it away before then putting my foundation on. So I'm not going to put any um, eye primer on because like I said, because I've used this primer because it's mattifying, because I get a little bit of oily skin around my eyes. I think this actually works best for me. Obviously if you want to put an eye primer on, you can do. Um, so the colours I'm actually going to use today is actually from this Revolution palette. Now unfortunately this one doesn't actually exist in Superdrug at the moment and I know other brands do like MUA and NYX they do as well but the main colours I'm going to use from this is I'm going to use a purple and I'm going to use a green so as long as you've got a purple and a green it doesn't really matter what palette it comes from but yes yeah, so like I said I've got this one from the Revolution one. This is actually called the Mermaids vs Unicorns one and fun fact I did actually buy this um, just to use for Halloween last year um, for um, a mermaid look that I did so I purposely just bought this for that and then since then I was thinking oh actually that'll come in handy for other things like other Halloween videos. So I'm actually going to do the purple first because the purple is what I'm going to actually do in my crease so I'm going to do that one first. So I'm actually going to use a combination of these two colours to start off with. Right, so to make that crease a little bit darker, I'm just going to take this darker purple here just to put like on my inner crease. Now unfortunately I don't know how to do wing liners, so um, I'm not the type of person that obviously going to have like a really sharp uh, line there. I kind of like a more of a fluffy look. Like I said, this is basically what I would do to do like an inspired look. If you like to do like a wing or obviously have like the line there, like the tape, that kind of thing, then you do you. Because I'm doing my foundation afterwards, we can always create a line with the foundation so you don't have to worry about it now if you didn't want to. So once you're happy with the purple, we're going to go with the green, but we can do a little bit of purple later on. So the greens that I'm going to use are these ones here, but I'm just going to put these on my eyelids. If you wanted to, you could do a cut crease. It's not the kind of thing that I would do, but like I said, this is the way that I would do it. So if you have a different way of doing it or you feel more comfortable doing a cut crease, then uh, yeah, you, you do whatever like, makes you more comfortable. 
but I'm not gonna go all the way to this side just because obviously I wanna put a bit of a shimmer on. The same reason why I didn't go too far up here just because I do want a bit of a shimmer and I have the perfect one <laughs> which I've kind of been saving for this video. So um, I have used it once as a highlighter um, just to see how it looks and I absolutely loved it. So I was like, right, I need to use it in this video. So I'm just taking another green and I'm just doing the outer bit. So same what I did with the purple. I'm having a little bit of a lighter purple there going into a darker colour. Yeah, so as you can see, we've already got some fallout, so that's why I know to um, do these bright colours first and then obviously do your foundation afterwards. So I am learning from my mistakes because I used to always do my foundation first. Just because it's in the name foundation, you kind of assume that you do it first. Right, so I'm just making sure that that dark green matches that dark purple. So where I've placed the dark purple, I'm just making sure it matches. So I'm just going to go back in with the purple just to go in the crease. Like there is a little bit of glitter in here, but I'm not really mind that because um, the glitters that I normally use are actually proper like pressed glitters. So the ones that I normally use, um, whereas this one I didn't mind the fact I had a little bit of glitter in it because it's not that that noticeable. But if you know me, I literally have like glitter everywhere. So I thought this time I'd more focus on say the shimmer side with a little bit of glitter in, without being like full on glitter. Because I always find glitter is more like a princess kind of look. Like I wouldn't really imagine an evil villain like Maleficent wearing glitter on her eyes. So once you're happy with the purple and the green, now is the fun bit, so here is my shimmer. Now this shimmer, I honestly can't remember where I got it from. I have seen like liquid shimmers very similar, so Revolution do have them, I think like Barry M, MUA, I think they've got them as well. <laughs> But it's this kind of shimmer here, so um, it's basically like a white powder, but it's got like flakes of like purple in it, and I just thought that'd be so pretty. So I'm gonna put some in the inner corner, I'm gonna put some where my eyebrows are, and eventually I'm actually gonna use it as a highlight. But I just think that is so pretty, and especially because of the look that we're going for today, I just think that is so nice just to have just like on the inner corners and then I'm just going to lightly dust some underneath my eyebrows. I think if I remember rightly, originally I was going to use this for like an Ursula look because it kind of it has that like shimmery like under the sea look and because it's purple, I think originally I was thinking oh I might actually do this for Ursula but then when I saw the fact that it was purple and I was using purple today for Maleficent, I thought oh my god it would be really amazing to use it now. But I'm just going to go over the purple again just to mix it in so it's not obviously so harsh and I'm just going to go back over the green so I'm not actually adding any more product on I'm just going to go over it with what's on my brush just to kind of blend that in a little bit so yeah, so I'm really happy with that. So, so one thing about me is I love my lashes. So I am known for having like really, really long lashes. Um, you can skip this part if you want. So if you're not really into lashes, if you'd rather obviously for one, have just mascara or two, have milder lashes, then obviously that's up to you. I just really like long dramatic ones. Now the thing is because I do the strip lashes, it almost looks like there's already an eyeliner on it. So I kind of skip the eyeliner a bit. But like I said, if you want to do a wing liner, if you want to do eyeliner, then I suggest to do that now. But I technically just go in with a white slash clear glue, put my strip lashes on, and like I said, it kind of creates its own kind of eyeliner anyway. So these ones I've actually used before. Um, I do try and make my lashes last about five to seven times. Um, it is all about the care, so to make sure obviously the glue is off, any mascara that you put on is off, um, just to kind of you know be careful when you take them off, you can make them last quite a few few uses. So I've been wearing lashes for probably about 10 years now, so um my main thing that I like to do when I wear my lashes is that, like I said, instead of actually having eyeliner, I actually put the eyelash glue where my eyeliner would be, then I actually put the eyelash glue on the lashes. Now the key is to kind of wait, so this is where I normally do my eyebrows, but obviously because I'm doing my face first and then my eyebrows, I've literally just got to sit here for a minute. 
but I just find you've got to make sure the glue is tacky because if it's too wet it's going to slide straight off. Um, I get so many people compliment me on my lashes and I say to them the key is patience. If you put the lashes on too soon they're going to come straight off and it's going to stress you out because they're not going to stick properly. So that's personally what I do. Um, I did on my Beauty and the Beast um, video, so my Beauty and the Beast inspired look, I did actually go into a little bit more detail about how I do my lashes. So I'm just going to quickly go from now but if you want to know a bit more in depth I suggest go check that video out. So I have been known to wear black um, eyelash glue but I find sometimes it can get a bit messy and I find if you use the clear slash white one if you do make a mess you don't notice it as much. Right so I've got my eyelashes here so like I said, I'm just going to put the glue on. I tend to make sure that the glue is definitely like on the ends so I just put a little bit in the middle but it's just making sure there's definitely some at the ends so that side and that side because that's where you need it to stick. So I'm just going to place them on very gently just in the middle. Oh yes, that's starting to stick a bit, so like I said, I'm just going to get my tweezers and then just lightly stick down the ends. Like I said, a lot of this is a lot of patience, so it's making sure that one, the glue is tacky enough and two, just obviously having time to kind of hold the lashes over the glue and gently press down. Now some girls I've seen on YouTube use their fingers and I'm just like, how are you using your fingers? <laughs> like I know I was using my finger to pull it on but then to obviously place it, I have to use tweezers. Like I don't understand how some girls use just their fingers to do this. I will be going in with a liquid eyeliner to kind of fill in that gap so don't worry about that right now. So if you think, oh my god, there's a huge gap, we will be sorting that out. But that's one reason why you use the glue because that acts as your eyeliner so at least you know you've got it close to your lashes. Right, so I'm just going to do the other one. Like for me, I absolutely love these lashes. I just love how dramatic they look. Like some people will be like, oh my god, no, that's a bit too much for me. But when you're doing like a Halloween or costume makeup, you can kind of get away with these. But to be honest, I wear these lashes just every day anyway. <laughs> like I said, at work, I'm kind of known for having just like really long lashes and always wearing glitter. That's kind of, apart from Disney, that's kind of what I'm known for. So, like I said, there is a visible gap where the fake lashes are and my real lashes are. So, I'm just using this one here. So, it's actually from Collection. I've been using this one for a while, but obviously, you can use any eyeliner that you want. And I basically just very, very gently, where my waterline is, and obviously, where my um, fake lashes are and the, and the real ones, I kind of just draw like over that. But, like I said, I do it very, very lightly because this is a liquid. So, obviously, I don't want it to get in my eye. So I always used to use mascara, so the only time I use mascara is to um, put mascara on my lashes and then stick them to the fake ones, otherwise your lashes are doing that and the fake ones are doing that, so you kind of need your lashes to stick to the fake ones. So I just use like a simple one, so this is the collection one. So I just put a little bit on, so I don't like to put too much on, but I mainly focus on the base of my real lashes and then just make sure that my lashes then stick to the fake ones otherwise from the side it will look obvious that they're obviously fake lashes you got on and then I'm just going to go back in with my tweezers just to make sure everything is stuck down and I can hear Mumu coming up the stairs Hi. How, how's it looking? yeah good what character am I? Do you know that because I look like Maleficent or because I told you? The horns. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I... <laughs> so dramatic, my horns came off. Who do you want to look like afterwards? Who do I want to look like? Yeah. Uh... We can do. I don't know, who do you look like? You're not looking at anyone. <laughs> <laughs> what Disney villain do you look like? Yeah. I can always do a scar. See a scar. Oh yeah, could do Jafar. He's got quite a, a dramatic wing eyeliner and I can't do wings, so just have to stick with scar. Cool. Huh? 
I'm hang waiting on. for you to not listen to me so I can carry on. Oh, hang on, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, wait, wait, wait. Just trying to set an alarm so I don't just keep drawing. Be like, oh wait, I need to go to work. Oh yeah, might help. So like I said, so it is optional, obviously if you want to do lashes, you can just use mascara if you want to. It's just, I find personally mascara doesn't really give me the lift that I want. Um, I have tried mascara in the past, so I kind of give my like, lashes a bit of a breather. And I just found that throughout the day, my lashes would just droop and I was just like, it's not really the look I'm going for. Right, so this is primarily the eye look. So now we're going to go in with the skin. So I'm actually going to do my foundation at the moment. So the ones that I use, like I said, because I've got oily skin, so I'm actually going to use the Revolution uh, Pro one, so this is the full color coverage uh, camouflage one so I'm going to use that and then I'm just going to set it with my collection uh, prime and ready invisible powder so I'm just going to do that now but I'm also going to tidy up this side so I'm also going to tidy up these so I'm actually going to use a revolution uh, concealer just to kind of like tidy up that bit and maybe kind of create almost like a fake wing without obviously doing a wing um, but one thing I like to do and a lot of people like to dampen their sponges I actually get my fix and spray and actually spray to make it a little bit wet uh, and to be honest uh, I can't be bothered to go downstairs. Now, I don't really do any cream contour because I use powder ones, I say, because I've got oily skin. I don't want to put too much cream on my face. Uh, and then I'm actually going to contour my face with my NYX palette. Now, obviously, things like this, you could get like Revolution, MUA, Barry M. There's so many different ones you can get. I just happen to have the NYX one because my sister in law actually gave it to me just on the basis that the lid's broken and she was like, I don't want it anymore. So I was like, okay, I'll have it. <laughs> So I'm now going to go in and contour, so I don't do a lot of contouring, it's just the fact that at the moment my face is looking quite white, I just need to add a little bit of definition, so I just put a little bit around here, a little bit here, and then just bring it underneath there. Right, so I'm just gonna go in with a bit of blush as well. So I'm just gonna use uh, this one. I can't remember which brand this is, but to be honest, whichever brush you prefer. Now, when it comes to obviously sort of class as normal skin, you could kind of stop there if you wanted to. Um, because obviously we're doing like a Maleficent inspired look, I thought I might do a little bit more on my cheekbone bit, add a little bit more like purple to it. So I'm just gonna go in with this. And I do actually have a separate brush for purple. Like I said, this is the one that I use for my mermaid look. So I'm actually just gonna go in and just do like a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much. Just going to put a tiny bit at the top here, not too much, just any that's excess on my brush. I'm just going to like put a bit up there and then I'm going to go back in with the highlighter. So like I said, I actually have used this once before, so I actually used it in the summer just to kind of experiment and I absolutely loved it and I'm thinking, right, I need to use it again in another video. But I just think having that kind of dark purple underneath there will complement the highlight because in the highlight there is quite a lot of purple in it. I just feel like it will complement it a bit better. And then I'm just going to go back in, if I can find my brush. So I'm just going to go back in to my inner corner because we lost a little bit of that when obviously I put my foundation on. 
Right, and then I'm just gonna go in and do my eyebrows. So I hate doing my eyebrows. I only do my eyebrows because society tells me to. Like, I absolutely hate doing them. So the easiest way I do it is personally, I just use powder. So I actually use this little one here. So it's actually a travel one, which unfortunately a super drug don't do anymore. I think they might still do it on their website, but they don't actually do it in store anymore. Um, but it's just like a little travel one. We've got obviously other wax ones and the powders. You can use whichever one you want. I know some people obviously like, you know, proper defined eye um, eyebrows. I just, I'm a bit lazy, so I just do literally the bare minimum to my eyebrows. And they are done. So, what we need to do is lips. Now, I've got two different colours because I wasn't sure which colour I wanted to go for. So, I've got one that's more of a purpley colour and one that's more of a red. Now, the picture that I was actually getting inspired from actually had purple lips, but I know Maleficent in, say, the Disney film, she actually has red lips. Personally, I do prefer purple because red doesn't really suit me, so I am actually going to go for the purple one. So, this is the Barry M a lip topper, and it's like got purple and like glitters and things like that in there. I just find personally this actually suits my skin tone better than say the red one like I know this is a lip topper but I'm just putting it straight onto my lips I personally just find this kind of complements my skin a bit better, so that's why I go for that one. This one was the other one I was going to go for, so this was the um, also Barium one, which is a um, matte me up one. And this one is in the colour Allure. But like I said, it is a really nice colour, it's just the fact that I don't really wear a lot of reds. I bought this one on a whim, thinking, okay, the one day that I'm going to need a red, I'm going to have to obviously have a red in my collection. So I bought this one because it was kind of like almost a metallic type colour, but I find that the purple one kind of suits like I do wear purple normally in my everyday life like I've got some like pinky purple type ones um, but I just found because I've got a lot of purple going on obviously because of the highlighter and the eyes I just thought the purple might go with it and it kind of is a bit more Halloween-y anyway Right, so the last thing I need to do is actually underneath my eyes, but what I'm going to do is I always do my set and spray first and then I do under my eyes, otherwise I find personally if I do my under eyes first and then do set and spray, it can sometimes transfer and then obviously your makeup look could look ruined. So I personally go with my setting spray, so when I use this actually a Revolution Sport one, so like I said, it's a small design for oily skin. I used to have the other ones, it was in the white bottle, which was the oil control one, but when they brought this one out, which was the Sport one, this is one that I personally prefer to, to use now. And then I just get like a bit of paper or something just to kind of fan it dry. So yeah, so now I'm going in with my eyeliner. So the first one I'm going to use is actually a purple one. So this one is the MUA one. So this is purple and it's in the colour Vamp. So I'm just going to put that just underneath my lashes. Um, I don't actually put mascara on my bottom lashes. I just find personally, because I've got a lot obviously going on at the top with obviously with my fake ones, I find I kind of want to keep it a little bit simple underneath. So that's why I just tend to use an eyeliner that's got a little bit of colour in it. But I just go over my eyelashes, so it obviously gives them a little bit of colour. So you could stop there if you wanted to. Um, it is optional if you want to go in with a black eyeliner. So it just depends on obviously what type of look you are going for. So yes, yeah, so I will actually go in with the liner. So like I said, you could just stop here and then obviously that's your look done. But I just thought because it's like a more like villain's look, I think having the eyeliner will obviously help help with this look. But I try not to go too heavy with it, like I said, just because I've got a lot going on at top. But yeah, I think that is it. So yeah, so that was it. So this is how I got my Maleficent inspired look. If you want to know how I did my ears, I'm actually going to do another video on this playlist on how to do like these type of ears. Um, I do have other things coming up as well, like um, how to make your own tea light candles, um, how to make bunting. So there's a few other things coming up as well. So I appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and hit the bell notification, then obviously get notified when those videos go up. But yeah, that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Later days.